Geranium Best restaurant in the world 2022 the first restaurant in Denmark to receive three Michelin stars, famous for its miniature dishes, laconic presentation, and multi layered taste of dishes. It is in the restaurant that the food on the plate meets art. Food becomes art itself, making the most of color, white space, and the correct amount of ingredients on the plate, creating a harmony between taste and aesthetic of presentation. The restaurant was able to achieve all this under the guidance of its chef and owner, Rasmus Kofod, who is the only one in the world who has all the awards of the Bacchus d'Or. Hi everyone, you are on the Matai channel and today I will tell you about this uniquely shameless chef who is not afraid to be himself and show his vision to the world. Rasmus was born in 1974, in the small town of Birkerod, in which only 20,000 people lived. Here you need to understand that in Denmark all the towns are not large, they don't have cities with a million people, only 600,000 people live in the capital. His interest in for cooking began at the age of 10, when he helped his mother in the kitchen to feed his youngest siblings. He and his family went to the nearby forest to collect nettles for soup, rose hips, mushrooms and nuts. He started copying René Redzepi before it became a mainstream. This has now become a culinary trend that is practiced in many restaurants around the world. And then it was a vital necessity so as not to die of hunger. Now Denmark is an economically successful country, but in the 70s and 80s it was poor and not so advanced. In the 90s Rasmus gets hooked on rap. Likes to ride a skateboard and doesn't blow the hell out. He chooses to live on high. However, below the parents are dripping on the brains, they say top doing garbage, go study and walk. But as we all know, rappers are not very smart guys, they don't shine with intelligence, and Kofod decided to study to be a cook. As admission to college for this profession doesn't require much knowledge and skill. Do you have two arms, two legs? We take you. You suit us. Since I started to be a cook myself, I know what I'm talking about. This is how we were selected for study. And I will tell you a secret in Europe with this profession, since I'm exactly the same. His hobby is rap, mine is being a blogger. This is a fact. So, after graduating from a culinary school, he gets an internship in the Hotel d'Anglaterra, which is located in the center of Copenhagen, and it's one of the most expensive hotels in Denmark. And like expensive hotels, he has his own restaurant, Restaurant Marshall, where Rasmus was an intern. Everything is expensive and rich, and the best French restaurants, white tablecloths, expensive crockery, crystal glasses, fresh flowers in the interior, expensive and beautiful dishes according to the precepts of the French masters of Nouvelle Cuisine and Cuisine Classique. And most surprisingly, Rasmus didn't like this job. He wasn't obsessed with cooking. Why study to be a chef when you can become a rapper? Especially when your working day lasts more than 12 hours and you cook the same things every day. The only thing that Koffer decided for himself was that he needed to learn French in the order to better comprehend cooking, since it's an international language of the restaurants. He tries to go to an internship in various restaurants where there are French chefs or who work in French. He was approved for an internship at a restaurant in Belgium. Belgium is another kingdom on the European continent, like Denmark. Belgium is in a history was part of countries such as France, Spain and Netherlands. As a result of all these events, it has three official languages at the state level – French, German and Dutch. And let me remind you that Rasmus Koffert wanted to study not a cousin and more to comprehend French through cooking. The future chef gets study in the Schorteshof restaurant, which is located in Flanders. And this is a German-speaking part of Belgium. And they said that rappers are not the smarter guys. The name Schorteshof in German means Farm Schultes. The chef and the owner of the restaurant Roger Sarain received two Michelin stars back in 93, and this man simply burned with his work. In 1983 he opened his restaurant on the site of a former farm, hence the name. Restaurant concept – farm to folk. Everything that was grown on the territory of the restaurant was served to guests. Roger was one of the first in the world to implement this in his restaurant. And it was Sovereign who was able to direct the energy of our future star in the right direction. It was he who instilled in him a true love of cooking, so much so that it became his life's work. 
Later, Rasmus Kofford returned to his homeland and began working in the best restaurants in Denmark. But no one knew about him, since he was one of the thousands of cooks. And what did he do to get noticed? Well, firstly, in 2003 he was recognized as the best chef in Denmark. And in 2005 he headed the Danish team at the international and most prestigious competition for chefs Bacchus d'Or. This culinary empire is held every two years in France. It was invented and organized by Paul Bacchus, one of the most famous and eminent chefs of recent years. And this culinary empire is held in his hometown of Lyon. Let's go back to Rasmus Koffer. What result could the Danish team achieve under his leadership? Third place. This is an excellent result, as chef from all over the world participate in this competition and after the bronze, job offers rained down from all sides and Rasmus accepted the offer to head the kitchen as a restaurant marshal at the Hotel d'Angleterre. The same restaurant, which was the first in his life, Kofa stupidly returned to his ex, but any adequate person knows that the ex should remain the ex. As Rasmus himself said, I was a student of d'Angleterre, so I knew it might be a weird place to walk, but I didn't know it was that bad. He walked there for a short time and was soon fired from there. And why? The owners of the restaurant wanted to update the menu and add a French steak, shooting stars and a club sandwich. Classic Danish cuisine. If you forgot or didn't know, Или ты забыл. Или ты не знал. Then in 2004, René Redzepi and 10 other chefs released a manifesto with the idea of promoting the new Scandinavian cuisine, which led to a rise in the popularity of local dishes and everyone wanted to jump on the hype train. But Rasmus didn't want to be like everyone else and was looking for his own way for which he was fired. He continued to work in other restaurants, gained experience, knowledge and in 2007 he again goes to conquer the Golden Bacchus. This time his team takes the second place and the French take the first place. But this year there was a scandal at the competition. The French team was accused of the falsification and that they brought already prepared products to the competition. Sheet throwers were quickly sent to the French and the information war began. And what did Koffer do? He fucked that and didn't comment in this situation in any way. He already got his share of hype. He is the first and only one in the history who was able to win two Bacchus awards at once, bronze and silver. The scandal of the competition also raised interest in his person. Profit, geschäft and gingerbread were obtained anyway. In the same year, he opens his restaurant, Geranium, with his old friend Soren Ledet, who also worked with him in the kitchen. And next year, Geranium received its first Michelin star. But the path is thorny and difficult. Soren and Rasmus owned only 49% of the company, while other people owned 51%. As a result of Marcus Hems, the restaurant closed in 2009, and our two friends began to look for a new place for the restaurant and they found it in 2010 in the most unexpected and ridiculous place for an expensive restaurant. The new geranium opened at the football stadium. <sighs> I'm not joking about rappers again. Do you think I'm just making fun of him? Now, nah, check it out. And if you think that is all, then no. My name is... My name is Slick a Slim Shady. <laughs> slim Shady is on the real shady. All you other Slim Shadies are just demotivating. Slick a Slim Shady. <laughs> The windows in the kitchen of the restaurant overlook the football field of the stadium, and the panoramic windows from the guest area overlook the filed parking, and this is a standard and picturesque view from the windows of the restaurant. As a result of all these moves with the restaurant, Rasmus missed out on the 2009 gold Bacchus, but returned to the competition in 2011, took his well-deserved gold and became the first and only one in the world who have all three statues which again increases its recognition and popularity of the restaurant. As a result of the gradual growth in popularity, in 2016 it receives the third Michelin star and the restaurant still holds all three stars. Here, let's look at some of the dishes 
that are offered in the restaurant. Soft celery roots, smoked cheese, fermented cream and black caviar. Or here, red roots, blueberries, sharp horseradish root. And here the most tender turbo flounder stuffed with langoustine. For a snack, ray bread, cheese and fragrant black truffle plates. But the restaurant is successful, not only in the preparations of Onyku dishes. Remember I mentioned Kofat's co-owner and friend Soren Ledet. When the new geranium opened, Soren took over the management of the restaurant and the entire wine list of the restaurant. He became a sommelier. The wine list in the restaurant contains about 5000 items. This is a huge selection. This is so much that is located on 219 pages. Only champagne occupies only some 20 pages in the wine list. Let me remind you, if you didn't know or forgot that only what is produced in the Champagne region in France is called Champagne. Everything else is called sparkling wine. 20 pages of Champagne. Это просто охуенно. The wine list contains both young wines from all over the world, as well as rare and vintage ones. Since 99% of the people who will watch this video absolutely give a shit about wine culture, history and other blah blah blah, we will focus on the one page, the latest and most interesting – rare wines, and immediately read the introductory text to it. Rare wines should be treated as action items and antiques. Wines are served at your own risk. If the wine is sour, rotten and generally shit, then there will be no discount or replacement of the bottle. Nice. As in the best restaurant, Soran opens vintage bottles with fire iron. First the poker is heated to red and bottleneck is warmed up and quickly cooled with shaving brush with ice water. Due to a sharp temperature drop, the glass cracks and the neck is simply removed with light pressure. Why the hell are such difficulties with such barbaric matter? There are several reasons here. With a long term storage, the cock will become unusable. And if it is uncorked with a sommelier's knife, the cock will crumble and fall into the wine. And so that the bottle could be refilled with another wine and resold. And trust me, it's possible. I used to do this when I was a bartender. I'm not proud of it, but I have experience. And it's a lot easier than you might imagine. Let's get 10,000 subscribers and I'll show you how it's done. And if you think this is modern technology for opening bottles, then no. This method was invented in Portugal in the 18th century. 300 years ago. In terms of service, there are very few changes in restaurants. The cuisine is developing, moreover, by leaps and bounds, but the service in fine dining restaurants is marking time. The symbiosis of cuisine and wine in geranium began to push the restaurant up the list of the best in the world and in 2022 they took their well-deserved award as the best in the world. It's geranium. Initially, the award ceremony was supposed to take place in Moscow, but on February 24, Russia attacked Ukraine. And on February 25, the organizers announced that the ceremony would be held in London. In the previous video, I said the restaurants don't operate in vacuum from the rest of the world. All events that take place in the world leave their mark on the entire restaurant industry. A few months before receiving the title of the best of the best, Rasmus announced that his restaurant would no longer serve meat. He is not only a rapper, he is also a vegan. C Combo! The updated menu includes dishes only from vegetables, fruits, fish and seafood. And even though I made fun of Rasmus for the whole video, he goes his own way and does what he really likes. The main reason for this decision is that, according to him, he has not eaten meat for 5 years. And if he himself doesn't eat some product, then why serve it to his guests in his restaurant? Rasmus monitors his health, constantly trains and runs half marathons, and this is at the age of 48. 
if you look at my chubby cheeks, it will become clear to you that at my 33, I will not run a quarter marathon, but I eat animals because God made them so delicious. In his restaurant, he was able to organize a friendly atmosphere among the staff. After a busy working day, the kitchen and service team take a glass of wine and everyone goes to bid fives to each other. By the way, they have a clause in the employment contract, which is signed by all employees that if someone sees someone being bullied, then you must inform the management about this immediately. This is really cool, because there is too much anger and hatred in the modern world. We must be kinder. Ребята, давайте жить дружно. Here he is, Ras Muskov, amazing, weird, but on his own wave, which helps him to be in favor and earn his awards and recognition in the world. And what he will be able to surprise us in the future? We will find out soon. Don't forget to don't subscribe to the channel. Then the most interesting chefs and restaurants will definitely bypass you and you will not learn a lot of new interesting things. And there is so much ahead, grandiose plans and a lot of topics of conversation. Everything will be well done. I ate my dog on this. Bye to all. Та дякую пусть дякую, що додивились до кінця.